We are the 100% Hebrew Israelite. All praises and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Ha, Raka, Kodash. We give all praises and all, I mean, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone spreading the good news of the gospel, teaching this truth throughout the earth. And who rule well, salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing the word to the four corners of the earth in all sincerity and risking their life to do so. Well, this video is going to be about, uh, about self-image. Image is always dependent upon viewpoint, how we perceive ourselves. In 1 Corinthians 13, 12, reads, For now we see... Through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. It says, without an objective standard by which to measure ourselves, our self image will be blurred. 1 Corinthians 4 3. This reads, uh, <clears throat> but with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you or of man's judgment. Yea, I judge not my own self, for I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified, but he that judgeth me is the Lord Yahweh Shai. So man is created in the image of power. Let's go to Genesis one twenty six. This reads, And power said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So power created man in his own man in his own image. In the image of power created he him. Male and female created he them. Because of this, each person is of great worth and value. See Romans 5, 8. Reads, But power commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were Yet sinners, Hamashiach died for us. So, Yahweh, our power, he sent his only begotten son to die for his elect, predestinated from the beginning of time. So, power loves also gives us worth and value. The Bible tells us that every person is sinful. Romans, let's go to Romans 3, 23. This reads, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of power. We are sinful by nature. Let's go to Psalms 51, 5. It reads, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. And in practice, let's uh, go to Ecclesiastic 7.20. Reads, um, For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Let's go to Ephesians 2.11. This reads, 
Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Oops, like yeah. Ephesians 2, verse 1. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. So I'm going to go to verse 3. I'll, I'll start at verse 2. Where in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh uh, and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So we were by nature deserving wrath because of our sin. We are are in need of a Savior to forgive our sins and restore our relationship with power. Let's go to John 3.16. This reads, For power so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So Yahweh, Bahashem, his precious son, our Savior, our deliverer, our Shai, was sent to die for his elect predestinated before time. Our salvation is the result of power's grace. It is by grace you have been saved. Let's go to Ephesians 2.4. This reads, But power who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins hath quickened us together with Hamashiach by grace ye are saved those who have believed in Yahushai become a new creation 2 Corinthians 5.17 This reads, Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. See, verse 21 reads, For he had made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of power in him. Power made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of power, though we were once destined to wrath in Hamashiach, we are made new. Our primary identity is no longer that of a sinner, but that of a forgiven and justified child of power. See John one twelve. This reads, But as many as received them, to them gave he power to become the sons of power, even to them that believed in his name. So, as believers, we still sin, yet we are offered continue forgiveness. And we continue to grow in the Lord, our power, Yahweh. By grace, 1 John 1, 9,
This reads, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's go to Romans 8.29. Reads, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate it to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. We continue to struggle with various temptations and desires, but are now uh, free. From bondage to sin and death. Let's go to Romans 6 1. Starting at verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Power forbid. How shall we that are dead in, to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that? So many of us as were baptized into Hamashiach, Yahweh were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Hamashiach was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, and henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Hamashiach, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Hamashiach being raised from the dead dieth no more, Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto power. Yahweh. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. But alive unto power through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto power as though that are alive from the dead, and your member as instruments of righteousness unto power. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. So let's go to Galatians 5.1. This reads, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Hamashiach had made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So we are free from sin, because we're dead to the sin that do our Savior, our Deliverer, Yahweh Shai. When he died, he shed his blood and died to sin, so that we can serve in righteousness. Let's go to John 1 12. This reads But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of power, even to them that believed on his name. And this, his elect received. Our Savior, our Deliverer, Yahweh Shai, our Savior. So tell us that we become children of power through faith in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Let's go to Ephesians 1.3. It reads, Blessed be the power of 
and Father of our Lord, Yahushai HaMashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in HaMashiach, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahushai HaMashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he had abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, and according to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Hamashiach, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Hamashiach, in whom he also trusted after that he heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that he believed ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. So, uh, details, some of the spiritual blessings we have in Hamashiach, our identity is to be found in him. Colossians 3.3 3. And this reads, For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach in power. Our self-image should be founded on who power says we are. Yes, we are sinners and we still battle against our sinful flesh. But if we are in Hamashiach, we are beloved children. We are secure completely, known completely. We are secure completely, known completely forgiven and wholly loved by our power, the very creator of our soul. We are no longer condemned. Let's go to Romans 8.1. reads there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit and we need not to condemn ourselves let's go to 1 John 3 19 This reads, And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, power is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemns us not, then have we confidence toward power, and whatsoever we ask we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight, and this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and he is in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us, 
by the Spirit which He had given us. So by faith, we can be conquerors. Let's go to Romans 8.31. This reads, What shall we say? What shall we then say to these things? If power be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of power's elect? It is power that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Hamashiach that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of power, who also maketh intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we shall kill, we, for it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And nothing can separate us from power's love. Let's go to Romans 8.38. It says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate, separate us from the love of power, which is in Hamashiach, Yahushai, our Lord. Our self-image should not be inflated by human pride. Philippians 2.3 Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Philippians 2 3 4. Uh, nor devastated by the reality of sin, right self-image is having humility in the sight of our power. First Peter five six. This reads. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of power, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the power of all grace who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Hamashiach, Yahushai, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Con. Let's go to James 4.4. 4. Which reads, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with power? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of power. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace, wherefore he said, 
power it resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to power, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to power, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and he shall lift you up. So right self-image is understanding our great need for power and his great love for us. It is rejoicing in his truth and living aware of our value to him and other and our identity in Yahweh Shai, HaMashiach. Let's go to Galatians 4, 6. This reads, And because ye are sons, power hath sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father, wherefore thou art no more a servant, servant but a son, and if a son, then an heir of power through Hamashiach. Let's go to Romans 8.14. This reads, For as many as are led by the Spirit of power, they are the sons of power. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit is shall bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of power, and if children then hairs and hairs of power and joint hairs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may all, all that we may be also glorified together. For now we see only re a reflection as in the mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully even as I am fully known. 1 Corinthians 13, 12. This reads, For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. One day we will be with power in heaven, fully restored and with clear vision of who he is and who we are in him. So we're going to have that relationship clear, uh, face to face, presented as a mirror to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha. Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstones, spreading the good news of the gospel, teaching this truth throughout the earth, and who will wow salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing the word to the four corners of the earth in all sincerity, and risking their life to do so. So you see, brothers, we, uh, you know, we are, uh, uh, our self-image, you know, because we were made in the image of and likeness of our power, Yahweh by Shem to His precious Son, our Savior, our Deliverer, Yahweh Shai, Ha Raka Kodash, Lord willing. That and that day is coming soon, brothers, where we're going to be in those uh, identifiable flying saucers when this place, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed with, you know, 200 million nuclear missiles, you know, in a flood of fire in all four directions, Babylon the Great, 
America the bitter, the land of confusion. So, brother, we're just waiting. We're being patient. So let us continue to be hard soldiers, you know, for our Lord until that day arrives so we can receive our crown of everlasting life. So, brothers, continue. Endure to the end. Until next time, Shalom.